This show is sponsored by NatureBox. Order great tasting, healthy snacks right to your door. Forget the vending machine and get in shape for summer with healthy, delicious treats like everything bagel sticks. Support this podcast and get 50% off your first month. Go to naturebox.com slash rooster teeth. Naturebox.com slash rooster teeth. This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, portfolio, or online store. For a free trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code rooster teeth. That's offer code rooster teeth at squarespace.com. Hey! <laughs> what? Ruin what? This thing for like two minutes waiting to jump on the podcast. <laughs> My heart's beating kind of a little bit. I was going to say that was a second early. They were waiting off screen and then Who they heard early? the Who's intro. Ruined what? We didn't see you. Just the people just saw you in the chair. They yeah. didn't see you jump in. Well, Barbara is the one who ruined it. <laughs> well, she that's because Blaine it, sat down first and I had to jump over. Him. Oh, ladies first. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, it was mostly to freak out them, not not the audience. Oh. For those who are not watching the video, we just tried to make it to the podcast with like one second. <laughs> Why were we crouching down? I don't know. Cause cause we were going like, to take a hum. picture because we were like. Line marks. <laughs> Let's introduce Brandon ourselves. was starting well, to freak out and he's like 15 uh, seconds. F- it's just me seconds. guys. So they're, uh, Bernie and Gus, neither of them one are he- neither are here. I feel like mm-hmm. the parents are gone again. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like these ones. It Kids scares me. Like, podcast. There's no one to keep us in check. That's the best kind of podcast. Yeah. Am I right audience? It's just going to be an hour and a half of dicks. So we got Brandon Hello. and me Gavin and, and Barbara and Blaine. <laughs> Hello. Your camera's over there. Hello. <laughs> I'm still new at Bernie's chair. I'm usually sitting there, but that's you guys. Thing, usually, so. the two times you've been on the. But podcast. I'll be Bernie today. <laughs> so I does this glasses. legitimately make you feel young, not having those guys there? I always feel young. I'm like, well, I'm not the youngest one in the company, but how old are you? 24. Not bad. Carrie's younger, I think. Yeah, Ray, I'm a little bit older than Carrie. Ray was 24 today. Wasn't he just he? turned 25. 25. Yeah. Old bastard. It's his yeah. birthday. I asked him. I was like, "Hey, Ray, what are you what are you gonna be doing for your birthday? Happy birthday and stuff." And he's like, "Oh." My mom's in town, so I'm gonna go get dinner with her. And I was like, it's a solid birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's that that's a good kid, you know? It's like yeah. no, this is really Keep that in the rest of the podcast, please. Shit, well I already ruined it. But but, but that's like the ideal night for Ray. He's probably yeah. hanging out with his mom, not drinking, not doing anything but Like on any given night or on his birthday? Just probably on his birthday. Okay. There's no need to oversaturate it. <laughs> there you go. His mom's pretty awesome though. Yeah, I've met her before. She's nice. She's really cool. I think I've met his She's parents. like a cooler version of Ray. Shout out to Mrs. Narvaez. Yeah. Which isn't hard. I almost called her Mrs. Narvaez Jr., but that would work. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was joking about feeling young while those guys are gone. I was making fun of Jordan a lot this weekend because he had his party at 6 p.m. And when Jordan says 6 p.m., he means 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. But we got there, and we're there for like a few hours, had some drinks. Did you get there like, at 6? Uh, I got there at 6.45 or 7. Right. Only because I live with Jordan, I understand how is he very anal he is uh. about it. Like he doesn't understand culturally. So you when showed you say up an six, hour later. Huh? I, I yeah, I showed up an hour late. <laughs> I know how anal he is, so I showed up late. Uh, I was still. Oh come on, I get to be reasonable <laughs> here. But we were there for a few hours, and I had like a bunch of drink. And I was like, oh man, it's crazy. I'm so ready to go home. Like I'm so out of it. <laughs> And I was like, what is it, like 2 a.m.? And it was like 10.45. <laughs> and I was like, this is awesome. It's, it's just like I get all the benefits of having a good time, being out, and then I can just nice go to bed early. Method to his madness. This weekend was weird. But no, that is, I don't know if that makes me – am I I don't think I any old? party should start at 6. Because, no. like, you do, your, you do your Saturday, and it ends – like, you do all the stuff. If it's it a ends around dinner five. party. A dinner party could It wasn't a dinner six. party. They had snacks, a, though. It's an early dinner party at 6. I guess. I showed up. I, I went there thinking, like, I'm just going to... I was up at the office. You and me were up here just editing and stuff. And I would have gone earlier, but I lost my keys. So I was searching around here like you an asshole. You got your lipstick like, off okay? We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, I dressed in drag this weekend. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I showed up, and I just pretty much ate. And I felt really bad, and then I just left. And Jordan was like, wow, you literally... I told him, I was like, I'm just going to show up to eat. And he, I, You were there? Yeah, like 30 minutes, what? 30 so minutes? So we, we didn't overlap once? No. We still need to go get Bev's. Yeah. I'm always up for Bev's. Let's Bev right now. All right, Get, like hit him hard. Like chug that one, and we'll move on to the next. Uh, we'll just you're drinking coffee. Well, I'm move. I'm gonna move on after this. Gavin needs all the types of liquid drugs. First caffeine, then alcohol. Yeah, isn't it? And then liquid cocaine. I, I tried an espresso martini the other day, which is like, oh, at uh, the you you've took, yeah. yeah. They they got the chocolate one too there. Yeah, it was good. It was, it's nice to have like Delicious. booze that energizes you because booze usually sends me to sleep, and I'm usually sleepy anyway. So. This is coffee with booze in it. Yeah. Oh, very nice. It's that stuff that Bernie had the 43 alcohol. May I try? Yes. What is fashionably late to you? Like an hour? 
Like, uh, say a party starts at 9, because that's all like if 8. If this party starts at 9, you should get there at 10.30 to 11. Right. Yeah, I don't know that's if that's good. a cultural thing, because uh, my my parents, or my dad is Middle Eastern, and there, it's like you show up two and a half, three hours late. Uh, so I don't know if that's a thing, if, if everybody's like that, or if it's just just them. But it's like, it's rude to show up on time. Yeah. Like, if, like if, if I had I, a party, and it was like 9 p.m., and someone showed up, I'd be still be setting up, I'd be like the fuck are you doing here and they would just be sitting on the couch while i'm doing other stuff because no one else would be there. you know yeah. you know bernie's like game of thrones nights yeah all right so like one time he texted me it was like late sunday when it was happening and he's like hey game of thrones come on over i was like cool and the last time that i there was a game of thrones night at bernie's it was like at eight so then i showed up at eight i remember this and, and, and i show up <laughs> and ashley's in like pjs and no one's there and i was like hey where is everybody she's like well you're an hour early and i was like so then I immediately, <laughs> I immediately like went to a corner, started texting Br- uh, like, yeah, like Barbara and what, Brandon. To get someone else. Everyone was like, please God, I showed up early. Get the get I here. I really want to find this possible. text right now. It you was the most talking. embarrassing. And I just hung out with Ashley for like an hour, and then Bernie came back, and it was like still very early. And he's like, hey, help me unload my car with, from all the groceries. And See, I'm, I'm awkward. I never want to be the first person to anything. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want it to. If it's especially if I'm expecting a party, I don't want a one-on-one conversation with like one person mm-hmm. because <laughs> you have to. If you're early, so I'm worried about throwing a party of my own because there will be a time where there's just one other person in me. Yeah. Like I can't be fashionably late to my own party. Well, no, just, you live with person. Yeah, now, you'll though. be with Meg. So you at least have one other person. Yeah, but it's still, it's like just one extra person in the house. It's not really a party. Try to yet. get a surprise party though. Just be like, oh man, you know, I never have surprise parties. Just, just keep dropping really that, hard like at Meg. incept people. Why don't you just tell the people who you actually like a certain time, and then everyone else the time like an hour later. So that's, the people you like will show up early. That's a good call. So you'll tell me like, like five. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara like six. You know? Thanks, Blaine. I found the text that Blaine sent me what that night. It? it said, please God, come to Bern. <laughs> <laughs> please God, come to Bernie's as soon as you can. I showed up like an hour early. <laughs> <laughs> so, but actually, luckily, actually just gotten back from like E3 or something. So I was just like, so let's talk about E3. We <laughs> talked about it for like an hour. You're lucky that Ashley is very easy to hang out with one on one. Yeah, she's very cool. Otherwise, you'd be in trouble. How long you, have you been with the company? Uh, mm-hmm. I think a I week? checked. I checked my uh, what is it? What's that business thing where you can make connections? LinkedIn. It was like a year and you three have a months. LinkedIn. Yeah, I don't. Nice. I don't know why. I don't really trying to make business connections. In school, they they tell everyone to get a LinkedIn. I got one, and I'm just it doesn't, yeah. I don't really use it. I just deny like old high school and college friends. Gus wrote a review for me on my LinkedIn. Did you really? A couple of years ago. Did yeah. you Did you read it? Um, I'm too lazy to find it, but it was when I volunteered at the PAX booth, yeah. and he's just like Barbara has, is an expert in sales and was very handy. See, and I don't just like, Yay! just like LinkedIn. I don't take any anything seriously, and LinkedIn's one of those things. And uh, I endorsed Chris Martin for beard. <laughs> like I just don't give a shit. <laughs> so you that's like a, it for you know, yeah. But you guys have been saying it a couple of times. Anal. You guys know what that means? Just checking. Anal. What? Like anal. Like oh, she's really anal about it. Yeah. Do you know the difference you... between anal retentive and anal excessive. Like excessive. Whole, whole why, why don't you thing? tell us about it? Well, is it recessive? Yeah. Well, retentive? basically, Freud had this thing LinkedIn. that when you were kids, Wait. anal it, recessive is when I'm done pooing right before I wipe. I think you mean retentive. Retentive. Anal retentive and anal. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. What is it? Anal retentive and anal what? Except there's anal two. But anal. Anal resentment. Anal sex. Basically, when you're a kid, you're either anal, you're either <laughs> anal retentive or the other one. Anal retentive means you hold in your poo, and then the other one, I think it's anal excessive. Attentive. Attentive. Anal attentive. You, you shit yourself. <laughs> I attend and then to that, my anal be, daily. That, turns, that basically makes you into the adult that you'll become, based on if you shit yourself. Based off your please. anal usage. Let's look it up. How, it's does, this, no, no, how does this happen? This I I'd don't like, know. It flopped. I'm not even going to talk about it. Let's move on to different subject because <laughs> you guys don't know about Freud. Bernie, you're drunk. <laughs> it was like a five minute conversation about pee before this podcast started. Well, so basically, if you're like anal retentive, you like holding in the shit, and you like. Like you I like thought that we feel. were moving on. And it's like, well, you just told me to go back to it, Brandon. Did he? Did he? Let's review the tapes. <laughs> oh, God. No, all right, please. <laughs> How was you guys' weekend? Let's move. So, so did we have no, stop, 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 just stop doing that. Stop saying we're going to move on and then not moving on. I want to explain it. Okay, explain. So did, are you trying to say that you, you shit yourself? Is that what you're saying as a kid? No, because I'm <laughs> in a retentive, so I held my shit in. But if I was like lazy and just like go with the flow and don't care about times and stuff, then I would have been... The other anal, and I would have just been shitting myself. I have a friend. So you said, wait, are you saying a kid or a baby? You're, 
Your baby, a yeah, baby. But, <laughs> I'm I'm kind of like laid back <laughs> and I don't I don't like I'm not like precise about anything. So I don't mom, shit myself. Well, you probably did, shit yourself I, when you were a kid. I did shit myself Lots. recently, actually. Yeah. That's what you do as a baby. <laughs> That's why you have a diaper. Well, no, but like, there's a point though where it's like you become one of those things, and you're just either shitting yourself constantly or you're holding it in. So I wonder I how long we can go on this conversation without learning. You're anything. either shitting yourself <laughs> constantly or holding it. We're gonna it get in. blown up by like all of this. Maybe this is it's gonna be a shit you to make you feel better about <laughs> shitting your bed all the time. Oh, Blaine, it's okay. You're <laughs> anal retentive. My dad's a football coach, so if he ever got mad like on the football field, he'd be like, "Shit the bed, Junior." <laughs> that was like one of his curses. And the kids would be like, "What?" You know that's gonna become your catchphrase now. Shit the bed, Junior. Shit the bed, Junior. I was at, I was at, uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, I'm talking too much. <laughs> no, Let's see, not. I'm going to go to Twitter and see what they said. <laughs> About, About your the anal, anal retentiveness? Mm-hmm. Well, I, make sure uh, he's on Twitter and not Tinder. Barbara, what are your favorite types of anal? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, retentive? <laughs> <laughs> S- safe answer. Or resistant? <laughs> Attentive, what was the opposite you know how, one? <laughs> um, anal, I'm looking. It's not expulsive. But Anal expulsive. That sounds like <laughs> explosive. <laughs> <laughs> Anal expulsive. Like yeah, you, you expel from your body. This is what happens when mommy and daddy are not here. So Barbara, yeah, you've been known to, f- you know, flick the bean all day and all that stuff. Uh-huh. Do you have a? Pop- I don't know that yet. What do you mean? Because we haven't really. No, he, he asked me daily. Oh, okay. How like many your, times you minge off today? Your record was eleven times in a day, right? Uh huh. Have you ever popped in a little cheeky finger? Into my butt? Yeah. Nope. That is exit only. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> exit only. <laughs> I I know girls have popped their little fingers into your little butt. Gab, what would you do with that finger for the rest of the time? Like, you essentially, <laughs> it would have to just be, you know, hanging in the wind because you can't use it anymore. It's essentially Smells. like, now it's like disqualified. It's a good point. It's kind of tainted at that point. Yeah. I'm not the only guy that literally. I don't. I'm not going into butt stuff. I've moved on from that. <laughs> but like, you know, you, like. Er- we also miss the fact where Gavin has told us that he's had girlfriends that suck their fingers in his butt. Ooh. That As was, a test. No, that's a big old note for me. It's two of them, right? Two different girls. <laughs> that's a that's a nope. <laughs> I, I uh, kind of broke up with the chick because like because she stuck her finger in your butt. No, because one of the first times <laughs> we were hanging Barbara. out, we were he's anal retentive. We were hanging he out. He and, has needs, and she was like, "Hey, I'll be right back." And she gets up and she goes into what I thought was another room. I was like, "Okay, just kind of hanging out." And then I hear peeing noises, and I realized she went to the bathroom and she was like peeing with the door open. And we hadn't been hanging out all that long, yet, and that's like a really like. You broke up with her because she didn't shut the door. And she I didn't pissed. break up with Dude, her. We he were... is absolutely George Costanza. <laughs> we didn't. We <laughs> weren't dating, but we were like, we we're. That's the thing. We were still kind of new with each other, so it's like she's peeing in front of me already. I would find it flattering, like she's already comfortable with you. Okay, could you then see I'll her? give her your number because I was like, no way. Like, <laughs> how, I was like, how, wait, how long you have you been her? dating? Huh? How could long? You s- there's a mirror. I'm sure if I wanted to, I didn't want to, but I'm you sure could, if I wanted so to. So you couldn't see her. How long were you dating? Oh, we weren't really, it wasn't really dating, we were just seeing each other like on and on, it was like, you know, two weeks. Two and a half, three weeks. Yeah, exactly. And then she starts like, peeing in front of me, and I was like, no. When when was she doing, like, what were you guys doing? I'm not gonna go into that, Brandon. That's completely relevant! Let me guess, you guys just finished having sex and she went to go pee. Not sex. Okay. But we were... Types of sex. (laughs) Hanging out. Wink. (laughs) You like grinding? <laughs> like, no, I'm it. not gonna go into detail over this. <laughs> Were you holding Gus, in your shit together? I guess you're Bert waiting. Will never let us this group <laughs> together waiting. again. We won't have to. They'll be here every other time. This is true. So what if she was cooler? You are, that, that couldn't have been the only reason to get rid of her. You must have like like not liked her in other ways. It's true. Or was Good it point. just the pee thing? Never mind. I mean that bothered me. I guess there was a couple of other minor things. But it's, it's something that everyone does. Like you know she pees. Well, it's like yeah. should she? Make breakfast away from you as well. She makes breakfast. <laughs> no, I'm guessing I just was expecting something like a little bit more like I, I don't know. That's that's a private thing that I don't want to see or hear. What's or the threshold p- then? Like, how long do you have to be with someone until they could pee with the door open in front of you? I mean, I wouldn't know because I've never been with anybody that's just mm. peed with the door open. And I've dated girls for like you know, I've dated one for like a year and a half. I don't even think she did that. Okay. How old are you, Blaine? Twenty four. Twenty four. That much younger. I, at some point, I just realized, fuck it, just let it go. 
Just like you, you, the the things that bother you that much get so much more like get so trivial. Yeah. Because there's so many other things out there that could you know be a real problem. You just gotta let it go, man. So I'm gonna throw you under the bus. It's Paula Pee P in front of you with the door open. No, I I'm pretty. You guys have only been together for what like a year? Uh yeah. Oh shit. Um. <laughs> oh <laughs> Today your anniversary. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Paul is watching. It's the first of November. Uh, okay, so. so. Oh, you're good. Please remind me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> first of November. Remind, R- remind him. No, the day before because he has to get a present. And if you want to, uh, if Walgreens, you want to tweet, Barbara. if you want to tweet his girlfriend too, her hat <laughs> <laughs> and ask her if she's peed in front of me. <laughs> no, I don't God. want to know that. You know the internet's gonna find that. Yeah. They're gonna find her Twitter handle. It's not hard. Uh, yeah. Then take a slip. I, I do kind of get that though. Like every time I'm in the bathroom, I, I go through so many steps to make it so people can't hear me. Like oh, I close I've, the door, I turn on the sink. You piss on the porcelain. Oh Drop yeah. The water. I and say maybe, fuck and it. If, I, if I'm at home, I'll, I'll put on the shower. Like it's it's there's something about me. And if I hear somebody peeing and I can hear them pee, I have to like I have to do something. Why? You know? Why does it bother you? I don't know. So it's just it just I, I, I get, it's crazy. It just makes me insane. Years of just like locker rooms and being in football and it's just I'm numb to that kind of shit. Like I'll just Except if a girl you're seeing pees with the door there's open. There's a difference. It's done. There's a difference. But I mean like I'll you know like somebody came into the honey wagon today and that's the most uncomfortable thing. You've talked about this before. <laughs> somebody came into the honey wagon and I was taking a crap. And I I saw the (laughs) (laughs) So they open up the door and they step in and then obviously they notice and I'm like midwife and I don't know if they can see this or not, but they notice me and then there's like three seconds of just like pause. And then they backed out and closed the door and I was like, That was so awkward. Just walk in. I don't know. But that's better than someone coming in and pissing while you're shitting. I don't care. Really? I don't it's kind of it's kind of did you see who Cozy it was? In there. No. Okay, oh. but I'm assuming it was like, it might have been Carrie, Gray, or Jeff, Yon. Are you going to miss the honey wagon when it's gone? Fuck no. It smells like death in there. It's horrible. I will, the only thing I will miss is the <laughs> pres- making it eat my shit and going nom 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 nom. Because that so is ne- still fucking funny. I never thought I would be the person to steer the conversation away from piss and shit, but has anyone played Destiny? <laughs> no. No. Although Gus showed up at the party and he was like playing it on his PSP. He was like, future. Yeah, Gus is uh, gone for two weeks. He took vacation. For I haven't seen Gus yeah. in two weeks. He hasn't even. He was at the party. What party? Jordan's party. You were there. Oh, you came after him. I didn't see Gus. Everyone, Everyone left before I got there. Yeah, you guys there. got there at like late. ten o'clock. It's a six o'clock party, bro. I got there at nine. Yeah. How rude. <laughs> I think like for that kind of thing, it's like two hours is a good buffer. I got out of here at like two a.m. and I was tempted to like go back over, just like not even tell anybody, just go. Was anybody there at two a.m.? I don't think so. No, I should have done it. I left at like ten. <laughs> I assume Gus was out of you know he just wasn't in Austin, but he's just in Austin, just relaxing at home <laughs> playing. Tennis. Oh, oh God! God. Oh. You're right there. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Drink that beer. <laughs> is there? Just... Are we skipping over the fact that you can play Destiny on your PSP? Apparently, that's awesome. It, was... it can apparently <coughs> connects to your TV. Yeah, it streams it. it streams it? it. So it's not like you're playing the game on the hardware; you're just streaming the game to it. Right. It's awesome. Yeah, but I mean, there's like some differences. Like you have to tap the screen instead of playing or pressing the R three and whatever. But that's still like really cool. Yeah, I've it's been, crazy. The internet has gotten that fast. I've been playing the hell out of it. I got to level twenty two, but mm-hmm. after level twenty, you can't just level up. You have to wait for armor to drop in a specific way with like stats. Yeah, light stats. And it's very not, complicated. I still haven't gotten it yet because this is this this is what's going to make me get internet in my apartment. I've decided you don't have internet. Like, no, still. How do you not have internet? How do you because watch TV? I don't. I you never never watch TV. I, I, I stopped watching TV when I was in middle school. Why? What did you do instead? Uh, I just go out. Yeah, jerk off. But no, it's like I have my phone. It what has, you it has internet. Too? But like your imagination. I'm get. I'm going out way more now. The because, sounds of girls peeing. Because I'm not on the <laughs> internet, you know, surfing or whatever. Yeah. So I'm like either like cleaning my apartment, cooking, or going out and working out or hiking or. I feel like something outside. I don't waste time. I don't watch. TV yeah. just to have it on. I watch it if I specifically want to watch something. And I don't really surf the internet anymore. But it is damn convenient having the internet just to quickly like do something. Yeah. I can't imagine not having it. Like I said, I'll probably get it. But your phone, I, I I've learned like self control and I, I've learned that I can exist without internet. So I think like I'll be more responsible around it. But like seriously, there'll just be like Saturdays where it's just like computer. And, I, and I've, I've, that ceases to exist now. It's pretty nice. Mm. Are I you getting that. the uh, new phone, Gavin? The, the iPhone 6. I want the big one because oh. it's like. Ridic- like, I got this gold one. Do you know how big it is? The last one. Bernie, the, Bernie was telling me about this. It's the size of a DS, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Huge. It's ridiculous, but 
That's I always, I feel like I always have to get the prick version of the phone that comes out, yeah. so I'm gonna do it. Oh, you got you get the gold version last time. Yeah, yeah, you're Douche, nice but like, I don't like this color. It's ugly, but it's kind of bling, you know, like Why a prick. Why did you get gold then? Are you gonna gold get the phone? Are you gonna it's get ugly. the twelve hundred dollar uh, Apple Watch? Uh, I thought it's three hundred fifty. No, it's like three hundred fifty. is a starting point. No, they have one that's gold. Oh, yeah. the gold one. Yeah. And it's no, like I'm not twelve hundred. I, I don't think I'm gonna get either of the watches. You're not gonna get any Apple oh, Watch. Oh man, you're crazy. No, I I've always been edgy on the first version of an Apple product. Okay. Because always the, the second version is always such a huge improvement over the first one. I think yeah. I'm gonna take that advice. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. Like I'm the, just, the I'm iPhone excited, though. The so, iPhone one, absolute turd. It yeah. didn't do anything. Like it didn't even have apps. Did you have it? Uh. Uh-uh. Mm. I, I only think got they had apps, but you can put new apps on. The there. four is the first iPhone I ever got. Oh my god! I was pretty okay. late to the game. I'm super excited. I mean, they've been working on it for years, uh, so hopefully it'll be a little better. But I had that Fitbit, the Fitbit Force, right and I don't know if you remember, you. but like, I started to get like a little rash here, and I then Bernie is so protective, and Bernie's uh, oddly, and he was like, "Oh, you got something right there." I was like, "Ah, that's probably fine." He's like, "Are you sure?" I was like, "Yeah." And then like two days later, it turned into this like giant chemical burn. <laughs> <laughs> like it was, oh, there it is, absolutely oh, disgusting. I forgot about that. How did you guys get that picture so fast? And then like I had to move it to the other hand and it started having there too, and I, I realized what it was. Jazz and hands. then they did a huge recall. So it's like I feel like if I don't get something like a replacement, yeah. I feel like I quit. Like I feel like they got me. Like I'm. I don't think you quit. I think your skin quit. The thing is with the the new iPhone is that they obviously made way more of the normal sized iPhone 6 so so for pre-order, yeah, yeah because you can still pre-order that and get it on the day of delivery I was up at like 2am trying to buy the big one <clears> and uh, the site was crashing and stuff and when I refreshed the page it had already slipped from the delivery date of the, the 19th of September or whatever when yeah. it comes out to like mid-November I was like do you think that's just because more people ordered it I think they underestimated how many people wanted the big one I think Maybe. it also just might be more challenging. I mean, they've been making the same like size device. This device probably needs at least a little bit more, I guess, battery. I guess it, it's a bit yeah. Bigger yeah. It does stuff like, the other one doesn't do. Like it has optical image stabilization. Like the lens can float around. But yeah. I, and I film on mine all the time. That's also why I'm going to get the 128 gig one. Yeah. Because I film my 64 gig iPhone almost once a week. Yeah. You keep your phone in your pocket though. Yeah. How, what are you going to do with the plus? Like back pocket. Nah, put yeah. it in my pocket. It fits. It fits. Yeah. Front or back? Because like for a girl, Front. I get because you have a purse and you could really you know, fit like a in weird there. boner, of some sort. <laughs> a pop touch. You also wear boner. really tight pants though. Sometimes you're yeah. gonna have to. You're gonna. You're, I swear, a year from now, you're gonna. You're gonna be doing back pocket. It's so much more. Like, let's let's know. bet on it. Okay. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Year from, year from now. now. So September fifteenth, two thousand fifteen. Twitter will remind us. Yeah, they will. So Samsung immediately started to throw down. After that, uh, the, they announced the new iPhones. Like, not only are they like, "Oh, Apple's copying us from four years ago," they were also making fun of the stream problems that Apple had while they were announcing it. And it's just like It'll, they have like a film crew there waiting, and they were just <laughs> like, "All right, we're gonna wait, and there's gonna be something we can make fun of." Hold on, and then as soon as that came up, they're like, "All right, shoot, shoot, shoot!" Edit. <laughs> okay, so I had my iPod or my. The iPod on my music, on shuffle, on my iPhone, and a fucking U2 song came on. It's they, so annoying. They downloaded all the U2, the, that new U2 album. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah you like got everyone... the new U2 album. You didn't want it, but you got the U2 album. How? When? You can I... disable it, but the fact that I was on shuffle and then U2 started playing, I was livid. Like, yeah. I know they can do it because they, you know, they made the U2. phone and they can do whatever the hell they want. But it's so annoying to be like content forced into your face. Eleven songs or into your ears. How do you how do you disable it? I want to do that. You can turn off like all songs in the library because it it's not one you have on your phone. It's one that's in the, in cloud. the cloud. Cloud that will play. What the fuck? I yeah. know, right? They just gave it. You to got you. a bunch of songs that you don't like. It's funny because I it's saw a cool a tweet. experiment though. Like I wonder what it does for the sales of the album, or I whether it like just makes were... everyone hate it. Yeah, anyone who does it would be Bono. Whoa, <laughs> they're not going <laughs> to sell it though. Like, it's just the. Like, it's the thing free. is, they gave it to you. It would make sense on other platforms, I think. Like, well, I don't know. A phone is such a personal device, yeah. and when you have stuff that you didn't put on there, just showing up on it, mm-hmm. it kind of freaks you out a little bit. I don't know why that is. Well, because I, I, I was like, Ugh, ew. Well, I think <laughs> it's because like, oh. you didn't choose to. Like, it makes you realize that there are other people who have control and access to your phone, especially yeah. you know, with the huge like you know uh, leak like a few weeks ago. But I don't have. I an think issue people with that. are on like edge Sad about enough. you know other other people having access or adjusting their phone. Like, if the government is listening to everything I say through the mic, or, like, 
looking through my camera while I, my phone's on the table or something. I don't even really, I mean, what are they going to see? Just yeah. some also, what are they boring gonna, bastard playing Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like why would they be listening to your conversation like I'm so boring compared to so many people in the world why would you care to listen to my conversation they might get a good laugh out of whatever maybe in, in well, you, cause you're not like planning bank robberies no not really when you're not at today. home Barbara on your own do you talk to yourself no <laughs> you know so like if someone had a mic in your apartment it would just be silent or like the TV yeah I talk to myself all the time yeah <laughs> or other something crazy you can talk to yourself cause you're living with somebody yeah okay I don't right, talk, I've blame, never talked to myself. Yes, I also talked to my uh, cat. Before you say that, uh-huh. uh huh. I just want to say something. It's going to surprise you. Are you ready for this? Is it? You ad? should be snacking more. It's you an need ad. to be snacking more. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Blaine? How can you tell me <laughs> to snack more? I'm going to get fat. That's why I've discovered NatureBox.com. Speaking of talking to yourself, NatureBox so. gives us hundreds of delicious <laughs> snacks. I mean, delicious, and I don't feel guilty about eating them because they're better for me. They're natural with zero trans fat and zero high fructose corn syrup. You'll even find snacks that are low on sugar, non-GMO, and without gluten, and they'll ship for free. Wow. You know that cranky moment around 3 p.m. when you're ready to tear into anything? Here's what I do. I grab PB and J granola from <laughs> Nature Box, or baked sweet potato fries, or sweet blueberry almonds. No more hungriness. <laughs> no more crankiness. Now I'm going to make you really happy. Ready? If you try naturebox.com <laughs> right now, you're going to get 50% off your first box. Just go to naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. You should be snacking, but you have to smack smarter. Stay full. Stay strong. <laughs> do what I do. Go to naturebox.com <laughs> slash roosterteeth to get 50% off, <laughs> <laughs> off uh, your month's first box. Nature.com slash rooster teeth. That's nature.com slash rooster box. teeth. Stop. Sorry, Blaine. I just, I had to say that. No. You looked I, bad. Yeehaw! And then you know nature.com. Nature box. You know that recap? Each time or just the end? Just the end. Oh, sorry. Nature, nature box. box. It, you know, have you ever played a record and you can switch between like 45 RPM and 30 <laughs> and you just kind of do it to see the song go like, you know, you know. That's what that sounded like. It's like, find that cranky thing and. <laughs> you know that recap where I made Chris and Josh rednecks, and you're like selling stuff like yeehaw. That's that was you just then. You had like this accent that you got Are midway you through me? the ad read. Yeah, I don't, well, can't remember what I was talking about. Brandon is a Texan, so I am a Texan. I'm bummed that summer's over. It's yeah. Like, it's days so are getting shorter. Over. It's, it's so immediate. Over. It was like, whoosh, and now it's cold. Yeah, it was raining all weekend. It was like 60 degrees this weekend. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Haunted. A ghost over there. Yeah, I did not you know do it's it. it's not going to be as bad. But once the like the time changes, yeah, and when you leave work, it's dark outside. That to me is the most depressing thing. That yeah, it is. That is pretty. It's shit. just it's, it's just sad. yeah, just shit. And Although just, we like, don't really know what it looks like outside when we're in here. There's no windows in this building. I know. So it's like then you get outside and you're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. I didn't realize until recently that there are no windows None. anywhere on the building. Anywhere. This is a building in a building too. Yeah, like if you can go and you see that there's two different doors because we have the interior building and then it's like packed into like a bigger. Sometimes it gets surprised when it's like light out still. I'm like, oh, damn. Yeah. yeah, it's like a nice surprise. I got trapped in the bungalow today. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just outside the bungalow. You know how there's a back door? Yeah. So I. Wait, there is. I was oh, like, I yeah, there is. There is. For some reason, I know that we're not actually there, but someone told me that we were going to be in one of the other bungalows for production on Laser Team. And that turned yeah. out to be not true. We're using a different building now. So I was like, oh, I want to check out this bungalow. So I like go out the back door and I'm on the porch area and I open the door and I'm like, oh, cool. I guess we're not using this. It's completely empty. And I close the door and I go back and the back door is locked. Mm -hmm. But there's no way of getting back to the front from that area. So I like step down onto the ground area and I go like over pipes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that there's another patio blocking the way and I can't like I'd have to crawl on the ground no, underneath to get out I know exactly what you're talking right? about you're just like what is Did going this on to both of you <laughs> it, yes no because it's like <laughs> I, I don't know who designed minutes. it or how they designed it but it's like if you took 
like buildings that were supposed to be apart and then you crunch them together and you're just like well I don't know where this thing and goes you just so walkways just everywhere it it's like someone who's really shitty at Tetris designed that area yeah. and they're like oh fuck it uh, <laughs> and you're just like I gotta, I gotta climb a wall to get out of here <laughs> yeah. so there's gonna be a situation where people just start disappearing from work and then we just find a bunch of skeletons over there between <laughs> the two like, probably it's like a theme park simulator or whatever, where they're just like mauling around. And I was gonna <laughs> crawl, I was gonna crawl under the walkway there to get out. God. But I would have to like go on my stomach and like crawl yeah. like a turtle like that. Rats. And I think I saw people walking, so I'm like, I don't want to do this because then. Did you go over the roof? So what did you do? Help! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, I just like kept walking around the back area, and eventually I found like a tiny little passageway out. It's like a maze. But it so it seriously took me 15 minutes to get out of there. That back lot's actually yeah, it's, it's a pretty big space. Um, we were doing something. We were doing donuts for recapping in Aaron's car. So we're just like burning tires, going like crazy, and they're driving back. And then I I spot them. I'm carrying the camera back, and I spot them. And Matt had stopped the car. So we were doing like donuts in the back oh, lot. Oh no! Like, oh shit! Matt just stopped them. So then I walk up, and Matt's like, "Hey, you guys doing donuts?" I was like, "Yeah," and he's like. Well, let me see the playback. So you like watch the footage, but I saw the whole thing. Like I later looked back at the GoPro footage of Aaron and Chris, and they're like, "Oh shit, it's Matt!" Like they they're like scared. <laughs> they're like, "We just did donuts." And Matt's right there, and he was like, "Was that you guys?" He was like really excited. Okay, was funny. I thought you were gonna. No, say he was like, totally he cool about it. We we're like, <laughs> "Don't fuck up our." Hey, Matt. <laughs> that was that was a lot less awkward though than uh, the uh, body bag video that we just shot or that we just released. Yeah. Um, slightly less awkward. Slightly less <laughs> ac- awkward. So a couple months ago, I don't know if you guys, I think, yeah, obviously you guys saw it, but we released a uh, video for a new show called Social Disorder, and in it, Chris and Aaron are dragging a body bag around Austin, and it's funny when you're watching it, but when you're actually following them, it was like one of the most awkward experiences. You were one of the camera guys, weren't you? Yeah, I was one of the camera guys, and then people come talk to you, and they're like, what are you doing? You're like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just, whatever, I'm just, just standing here. They're yeah. like, you know that guy has a body right over there? And like, oh, yeah, I don't Crazy. know. That's why. Yeah, I'm that's filming. why. That's why I'm filming. I don't know. So you, you haven't just, been on the. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Again. I was. Were you just out on the street? Yeah, we were just like Jason. You didn't we had do, like, long the, lenses. The van with the tinted windows. No, no, oh, we didn't have the budget for that. <laughs> we were just standing around with cameras, and most people don't notice for a while. In some shots, you could actually see Cole there with like his iPhone, just like holding it, like kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. like super covert Cole. Na, 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 na. It's a giant six foot man child <laughs> holding a. Yeah, it's surprising what you could get away with when you're trying to record people secretly. The people just don't notice. They're so used to seeing cameras out. Mega sixty four like, does a lot of like hidden camera stuff like that where they prank yeah. people in public, and every now and then, if they're doing something in a restaurant or something and they're filming. Everyone's like, why are you filming? Like, are you with this guy? And it's like, wouldn't you be filming this if you saw this in public? This guy's acting crazy. And it's a good point. Yeah. You would be filming them? it. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. Smart. What are they using to shoot, though? Like, we have these giant DSLRs. It's a lot it's harder obvious. to shake yeah. it yeah. off. I think, with they, tripods I think they mix it up. Like, yeah. We, we're, like, iPhone. walking around with tripods. I did get to do my favorite thing ever, though. At one point, Chris got into a pedicab. And I didn't know he was gonna do that, and I was like, "Shit, how am I gonna how am I gonna shoot this?" So I got into another pedicab, and I was like, "Follow that pedicab." <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. It's like in the movies. Yeah, she got <laughs> She's to like, say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you haven't been on the last couple. Well, I don't know. They've had a lot of social disorder shoots since then, and the one that they have coming up. I'm not gonna get into spoilers, but oh I God. am so excited. I went out. I went out shopping for for things for social disorder today. Let's just say I got like a lot of weird looks. Like they got some good episodes coming up. How many are there? How many episodes? How many have they filmed? I think they filmed four. Conceptualized, we they filmed, filmed four, four and I think it's probably going to be between six and eight. That's cool. Yeah, they have a lot of guts. I, I guess I could never do I that. I can't do that stuff. <laughs> the last oh. shoot Rangy we were stuff? on, I, I had to, I had the last couple of shoots that we've been on. I've been running audio and a camera, and I've just been listening in. So like all the other camera guys are just watching them. But I actually can hear everything that's going on, and I'm just like melting listening to them. I'm just like, this is the most. I heard. I'll tell you guys after this podcast because I don't want to spoil it. But I heard that someone said something to Aaron oh that you caught on audio, and this person didn't know that they were still mic. I took my at that point. Yeah. I took my earphones off because I was like, that's. I was like stunned. <laughs> like I was just shocked for life. Was, uh, yeah. Well, I'm confused. I'll tell we'll you tell after. you. We'll tell you later. We'll just we're t- we'll tease comedy. It. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. And uh, the next episode will be out in two weeks. I don't know if you know, it's we're alternating. Jeff has his show, and then we're alternating with Social Disorder. It's kind of like RT Life is kind of not changed forever, but it's yeah. kind of trying a new thing. It's on hold for a bit. Yeah, well, I think this is like it's the same concept. 
it's just like you know actual shows yeah yeah it's just the yeah, same it's brand still reality stuff yeah. yeah well they also and chris said that i could talk about this but they have uh handcuffs involved in some other as, as a prop and uh we were fucking around with those today um did you see that i came out of my office because i heard chris you and aaron yelling and so, then i come out and so at first we might do this in our life so i don't want to tell okay, it too much it. but we're playing uh we we took a break it's around lunch and we're taking a break to play uh mario kart and then aaron's like hey come here and he snaps handcuffs on my hand and then onto a chair and i just played the rest of the game and i was like whatever i'll just take them off and i realized they were legitimate handcuffs so i was like fuck so i went around for like ages just trying to get these handcuffs off and i finally found the keys were you handcuffed to yourself i was handcuffed to a chair <laughs> so i was running around the office chasing aaron trying to get him to give me the keys and i just had this chair like dragging behind me so then i was like you know i found the keys and they're like oh boo you know i was like don't worry i'll get them back oh, so boo. then so then later aaron's just editing and brandon says something about like giving him money or something so he comes up to him and while he's no he's chris while he was talking to him i handcuffed him to it to his chair so then he's like freaking out and he's chasing me around with the chair and then while Chris isn't looking, I, I handcuffed him to the same chair. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> because I'm, I'm quick. I'm like a ninja. So they're both handcuffed to the same chair, chasing me around. It was the best. <sighs> best friends like forever. Idiots. They're it's a dynamic assholes. duo now. I think I've pretty much declared a, a prank war on Aaron, which that could be, be dangerous. Fun. It could be very dangerous. God, what would you do if you just you were handcuffed to something <clears throat> and you couldn't, uh, it, you couldn't get out? Like <laughs> you'd be so screwed. Well, you just. Break your break your hand and push it through, right? Really? If, I was, your hand? Go-to? if I was handcuffed to something and like the end so, of the world was coming at me, I'd just be like. <laughs> so you're talking about something immobile, like you can't move the object that you're handcuffed to. Yeah, it'd be like a Titanic situation, except Kate Winslet's not there to swing an axe. Oh. So you would go saw on it and just like. I would just probably whatever it takes. If to say out. I was handcuffed to a car and like a big tidal wave's coming towards me, Rip I would just door off. stamp my hand into a mush <laughs> and like crunch it all up and then just pull it through the hole. And okay. I'll be free. Fair enough. And that way I could probably heal my hand or at least keep up to my wrist. I'd have to saw my whole arm off. <laughs> Apparently they're not that hard to break out of. Chris snuck out of his. He got a, like a he paper has a, clip. He has a dainty he's little a, wrist though. Oh yeah. Well, he's a crafty one. He got he out is. of it. So I was impressed. Aaron not so much. No, he was stuck in that. Yeah, I Aaron's left him in a man. There. Chris is like a... Weasel. Yeah. Hobbit. <laughs> he's a hobbit. I hope he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I uh, I really enjoyed that show, and I think the response has been really awesome. And we showed it at RTX, right, at the live action panel. Yeah, yeah, we showed it at RTX. I think we showed it at PAX. So I think when we were making is one of those things where like, oh, we think this could be, we think this could be pretty good. Um, we didn't see it in the edit, but like we actually got stopped by the cops a few times, mm-hmm. and at first they're kind of concerned, but eventually they just kind of like they just laugh it off. It's a pretty good place to do it in Austin where yeah. nobody seems to give a crap about anything, even yeah. the police. Speaking yeah. of which, I don't know if you guys saw this on Reddit the other day. There was a video on the Austin, I think it was Fox station, about cell phone use in cars. Mm-hmm. And they had a lot of like footage of people like using their phone in their car where you could, can't really see their face. It's through the window and everything. And they caught a guy like smoking up in his car and they oh. left that footage in the news segment. Nice. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> it's just like cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, guy smoking weed. Like, cell phone, <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> it's like, how does that get through? I don't know. I, I think you just have like the wrong people checking it that are just so oblivious. Got those long, wrong road if, trips. You gotta- if I could think <laughs> of all the places where I'd be likely to run into a cop, it would be while I'm in a car. Because there's cop cars going by all the time. Yeah. But the fact that people just openly break the law yeah. in their own car, like out in public, is amazing to me. It's crazy. I can't believe people do that here. You're basically made in a V, like something that's just windows, glass everywhere. Everyone can yeah. see. It's like a, a podium to showcase your illegal activity. Especially when you're doing drugs that require a lighter. Yeah. And like that's going to show through your windows no matter how <laughs> tinted they are. Yeah. <laughs> was he driving at the time? Because yeah, that requires he, he a lot of coordination. Driver. I think him. he was stopped. Like, oh, okay. Because I was like, that's actually kind of. But it was like a joint. It wasn't like it was just like you clearly see this white thing and just like he's lighting it. <laughs> Definitely not a cigarette. If anybody's trying to comment that. One that's of those what it special was. marijuana cigarettes. Marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see the uh, the news report where they they play this nine one one call? And it's this guy who he and his wife had ate <laughs> way too much weed. Oh yeah, yeah. It was, it was, he was like confiscating I, weed. I don't know. We're we're not doing it. I think I think we're dead. I think we're dead. <laughs> yeah, we're we're dead right now. It's tripping balls. It was incredible. 
I went to uh, Dallas. Was it which one? It was last week. My sister had a baby. Congrats. And, uh, How long was your sister in freaking labor? Like two weeks ago, Blaine's like, hey, my, my sister's she's at the hospital and she's I don't know what it is dilated or she's so like you dilate there's a, there's a crack in the cave and oh was like god two weeks ago so like the, the live action guys have just been talking about my sister's vagina another p- vagina for the so longest when that time happens, do you just you know why it's for the longest time because she's been like in labor for the longest time no okay there's a difference she's dilating which is like <laughs> What, do you know what dilating is yeah yeah but I'm I, I want to ask you this when people talk about your sister's privates do you just kind of like bump over the words and just be like, yeah, or do you actually picture? I bump what? over the words. I bump <laughs> over the words. I don't even want to shut, you, up, hey, shut up. It's mostly just got, Aaron. Do you know how she got pregnant? <sighs> she had a penis inside her. <laughs> no, it was and a stork. it ejaculated. It was a stork that, that delivered the baby. Um, but yeah, there was like an email chain. She even. might have had an orgasm. We were talking. We were talking about a shoot over the weekend, and the guys were sending emails back and forth, and I was like, just a heads up, you know, my sister's been pregnant, and at this point, she'd been pregnant, or, or sorry, not pregnant. What? My sister was going to deliver a baby, and I was on call, and I told him I'm on call, so, you know, I have to go at any second, and she was, shut up, Barbara, it's not funny. And, uh, yeah, they started getting on the subject of just talking about my sister's vagina, and I was like, sorry to throw a wrench in the whole thing, but I might have you to You threw a wrench in your sister's <laughs> vagina? No, okay, funny you should say that. I said, sorry, I don't mean to throw a wrench in the whole thing, but I might have to go to Dallas. And he was like, well, then you need to make your sister wait. You need to throw a wrench in her vagina. And then it was just back and forth of just everybody talking about my sister's oh, vagina God. for like... You know, Blaine, you probably talked people. about your sister's vagina most in this podcast. So I don't know what that says about you. The baby's adorable. <laughs> Where a girl? It was a uh, girl. Name? I don't want to get it. My sister asked not to. Oh, okay. Because she's, she's a very... Yeah, don't give the name of my child, but talk about my vagina all night. <laughs> There's a difference. All night <laughs> like, long. Fuck you guys. Well, yeah, but like when I was there, though... <laughs> I, I, I does was up. At, a, does she have a nickname for her vagina that we could just like? I was up at the yeah, office it's, really uh, late. It's Blaine. <laughs> that's what she calls it. Mine, mine's notorious V A G. Okay, that's pretty funny. It's, it's fist bump. Oh. All right, fuck it. Um, so I got in really late. I was up at the office and I got in at like three a.m. or something like that, and I was asleep. And you know when you're asleep and you forget where you are, uh-huh. you're yeah. like woken up. And you're like, where am I? Yeah. Well, so like I wake up and I had no idea where I was I assumed I was in my apartment in Austin and I see this giant man in my room and my actual words were Jesus fuck and I just like started like getting rearing back I didn't know what it was it was my dad and it was the guest room in my house and my dad was like asleep getting the dog that had walked into my room out and he like we both were just up like instantly he's like shit the bed <laughs> yeah literally yeah we, we had a moment we, I hadn't seen him in like a month it was like Jesus fuck <laughs> oh, oh oh hey dad sorry hey how are I you I hate doing? that moment though where you don't quite know where you are yeah because I've been happen? traveling quite yeah, all the time if I take a nap in the middle of the day and you wake up and it's like I have no idea what's going on it's like, terrifying. It, it happens to me because yeah. Whenever I go back to England and I sleep in the bed that I have there, I always, even though it's a familiar room, I've slept in it before, yeah. I always freak out. I'm like, oh, I'm like 5,000 miles away from where I usually am. Yeah. And it happens in hotels and it happens on planes. Like every time I wake up on a plane, I've talked about this before, I'm convinced for like 15 seconds I'm about to die and that I shouldn't be on a plane. You choose your pants. Because I'm like up in the air. I'm like, oh, my life could end now. This could be the last thing. I'd, and then I'm like, all right, I'm normal. It's like Fine. the complete opposite for me. Really? Because I travel so much and I'm like in a hotel, in a plane, back home, here. It's like when I wake up, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm over here. Like, it's never like. I probably belong here. See, I, I never I never think that I'm at I home it. when I wake up. I'm I'm always just like waiting to find You'd out where I am. You'd be the worst kidnapping victim. I would be terrible. <laughs> like, you wake I up and you're like, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's a bowl of gruel on the floor. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, need it. Yeah. So that scared the shit out of me, but it was it was good seeing the folks. So you were in London. Uh huh. Are you less shocked by the thing that you did? No. Okay. We're we're not allowed to talk about that. Huh? I can talk about it when it happens. Okay. Which like is when the product of my Londoning occurs. Product of my Londoning. Yeah. You just disappear. Every now and then. it's like, where's Gav? He's like, oh, he's in blah, 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 doing blah, blah, blah. Dude. Yeah. I'll, I don't even know when any of them are here because they're just in that room. So I'm like, mm. so well, we shoot so, we shoot so much in advance that I'm still in, like, I was gone for like two weeks, but I'm still in videos like the whole time. Oh, yeah. So That's why I'm always confused. I was in less, but 
the the ones like I'm always in most of the let's plays if the let's plays are six people always in most of them <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is you, I can miss stuff like verses and go and stuff because it's doesn't yeah. yeah they're not as not always not as important you. yeah either like if it's Lindsay versus Jeff or something it's true you don't have to be there math so when we were talking about <clears> like flying on planes I was on a flight not too long ago and uh I had I woke up I woke myself up snoring and I'd also been drooling on myself mm -hmm. and I was also I had a head cold so like I was constantly blowing my nose and this lady next to me and on my way out to go to the bathroom I bumped her and I spilled my drink on her like wow I just fucked this lady over so hardcore and I felt <laughs> so bad I wanted to say something at the Batting end of the a thousand there I felt really bad but so what happened you spilled on her I did spilt, yeah, her drink on her. And did I she yell at you? And I, no, she was just like, I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, so sorry. You know, grabbed napkins and she was just like, it's okay. It's okay. She was a very patient woman. Did you guys make out? Did you just like no, didn't. sneeze on her or something? Do you remember I, when we I, were at that basketball game and I spilt beer on that dude? Do you remember that? <laughs> I was at a basketball game. He once. was like, and he, he knew what? you, right? <laughs> well, here's what happened. I was at a basketball game and uh, I was with Jeff and Griffin and uh, we're getting bevved up, yeah. watching basketball. It was a Spurs. So I was doing all the, the Spurs chants, but from... The English Spurs team, so it didn't make any sense. I was getting beved up, <laughs> and uh, I spilt beer all down the back of this woman, and she was <gasps> livid. And oh. she was, we were supporting the other team as well, so she was, she hated us even more because of that. Yeah. And then, did, uh, she think, did she think you did it on purpose? I don't know, but it was a lot of beer, oh. and I was like, oh, even I feel bad about that one. Then we saw Brandon <laughs> and uh, some girl, and I was like, Brandon, you wouldn't believe it. And I was like walking ahead of Brandon, but looking back at him, I was like, you wouldn't believe it. I. I spilt so much beer all up, whoop, and I walked straight into a dude, hit him in the chest with my new beer and it just went whoosh, and he was just like, and I was like, oh God. And then he looked at me really mad and walked off and then he came back, like I was probably like three minutes later, he yeah. came back and I was like, oh God, I'm in trouble. And he was like, hey, uh, <clears throat> can you take a picture of my kid? <laughs> This kid recognized oh. me. Oh my god! So, uh, I, I thought he was going to punch like, me in the face. Tried to punch Jesus. you or something, yeah. But uh, thankfully his kid was a fan. And I got well, he didn't want to ruin the picture. He had a big black eye. Yeah. I felt like a right knob after that, though. I bet. I should have stopped drinking, but I didn't. Last time we were out, and then I think, like, any time I go out with Rooster Teeth people, I always like, hey, let's get in a bar fight. I'm like, I really want to get in a bar fight with I've people. never once heard you say that. <laughs> I remember telling him we were walking down 6th Street. It was after the, uh, the, what was it? Hashtag unfiltered show? With, oh. With, oh, with Hannah Hot. No filter. No filter. No. Sorry. Thank yeah. you, Ashley. And uh, I was like, let's go get in a bar fight. And you would win though. I can't get in a bar fight. I was saying you should pick the fight and I'll back you up. <laughs> would you win though? Because you haven't been tough your whole life, right? I haven't been. Have you ever no, have actually you? hit someone? I mean, I played foot. Yeah, I played football. No, I mean, like, oh, no, I've never, never been in a fight. Oh, what? I think I would hold up. You haven't been in a fight? No, no, it's not like you just, it's you just instinctively can fight somebody. Have you ever got beat up? I got beat up by a girl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, please Bet's tell the story. <laughs> How so when I was you? in the first grade at elementary school, my mom was a teacher. So then I would be hanging out at the jungle gym. So your mom gyms. was a teacher and your dad was a coach. Yeah. My sister is also a teacher. Jesus. Yeah. I come from a long line of educators and I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm, on, I'm hanging out after school because my mom's a teacher and she was like just doing teacher shit. And uh, I'm hanging out on the playground after school. So it's just empty. So I thought. And this girl, uh, she was in the sixth grade and she had some kind of mental thing just started wailing on me she for no reason uh yeah she just she was just beating my ass she i lost my footing and she like slammed me down against the jungle gym and she was just beating my head <laughs> and the only thing she was saying was give it to me i didn't know what it meant she's like give it to me you give it to me and i was just like i didn't know what and i was just getting my like ass kicked by this chick <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> it gets did she want you to beat her up, or did she? Did you have something of hers? Maybe she thought that no, you took something nothing. from her. I may. I think that that's what it was. I I really th or she had saw like an interrogation scene from like a TV show the night yeah. before or something. But she was just kicking my ass, and it got to the point where I was like, okay, let me go get it. Let me go get it. I will go get it for you. <laughs> and she's like, give it to me. And it's like, I'm gonna just let me go. I'm, I'm surprised go you're it. that rational <laughs> as a first grader. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I mustered up. <laughs> Did you go? Did you get her something, or is she still waiting? I fucking sprinted to my still, mom. I was like, "Aren't you afraid?" She's and I no, I didn't say anything to my mom. I was like terrified and embarrassed. I was like, "Were you bleeding or anything?" No, just probably like a little. I, you know the little diamond thing that the diamond shape that the 
all the playgrounds are made of. I probably have like a pattern on my face. You're gonna walk out of this building after this podcast, and you're gonna see her, and she's gonna be like, "You didn't bring her." <laughs> no. Yeah. She's been tracking you this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Since the so you were like six grade. years old. Be, you, first yeah, grade is six. Six, six or seven. Imagine, I just imagine a six-year-old just be like, all right, calm down. Yes. So she was there 12 I'll go 15. get it for you. Let me just go get it for you. <laughs> so you think you could win in a fight if you got in a fight with somebody now? I think Having so. never been in a fight before? I Yes, because, I mean, all right, I don't know how much it accounts for, but I played football, and I played on the offense and defensive line. So those guys are getting hit constantly. So I can take hits, and I am, like, I can... Th- take hits is not the same. I'm it's tolerable to different. physical pain, but I'm also, like, I, I consider myself strong, so I think I can, like, land a couple of good ones. I just don't think it's worth doing because people fight dirty. Someone's going to break a yeah. bottle and get you in the face with yeah, it. Yeah, see, that's like I would immediately go for your knees or your crotch. Oh, you guys I'd put on some safety goggles and then go in. All right. Yeah? All right, so the next time we get out, I'll bring some safety goggles. Do you have angry... Like, like the fight. Not just the glasses, but the full-on sort of, like, elastic strap. Oh, like we're in the NBA? Yeah. yeah. Do you have, like, a... Ang- you have anger issues? <laughs> like, no. Like, they're, like, a... Okay, then no, you're done. You got to... You gotta get crazy. I mean, there was like, there was one time where I was out with uh, Aaron and uh, Barbara. We are at Barbarella's. <laughs> and uh, remember that guy? Did you see it? This guy came up to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he, he was just dancing and he was obviously on something. And he just grabbed my hair and just started smushing my face and playing with my hair. It is Barbarella's too. Yeah. And I was like, you what You could the- have to expect that there. Yeah. Well, is the worst. I was just like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And I just... Didn't even have to plant a foot or anything. I just shoved him, and he just launched into like three people and what fell did, over. Did me and Aaron like contain you? Did like, you? I think yeah. I think she and I. So like, maybe I do have anger issues. I I just I don't have outbursts that often, but yeah, I can get mad. Yeah, and two skinny girls were able to hold you back. No, I Aren't just it was it was this moment of realization where I was like, I'm with work friends. This is embarrassing. I should stop. And then his friend came up to me and like fronted up, and I was like, Take it easy. I'm not gonna do anything. It's like he just rubbed his hands on my face. But that was it. Do you say Aaron, the bloke that works here, and Aaron, Aaron Zach, the bird that's in Ruby? Do you Aaron s- and Aaron. Do, are you saying those differently? Yeah. In my head, oh, it's okay. different. I can't like I never know who you're talking about. I think for a uh, girl, Aaron, I say like Aaron. Like, with an I, e. like I, There's I think no I to me. put emphasis on the R's, like Aaron, whereas he's like Aaron. I don't know. It's Typically, the same I just word. refer to Aaron Marquis as A A Ron. No, just just douchebag. <laughs> oh, okay, that's so. funny. He refers to you as the same thing. Really? No. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I, I what are the uh, what are the Twitters saying right now? Now that we're live, are you looking at Twitter? No, so I should check no, that. No, I so am we, burning after all. We have uh, some new shirts in the store, including uh, everyone watching right now could go get this one. It's the sponsor only shirt. I sponsor RT. Is that what it's, it means? Uh, I and then there's a star in replacement for of love. The heart. Oh, thank you so much, Patrick. I'm starving. I sponsor RT, and then we have. Are we getting pizza tops? delivered yeah, to the set? Pizza. Do you want some? And then we. How have, do you do that? I'm full. You, you want? You should have some pizza. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'll have pizza. Are All you right. really going to eat pizza right now? I'm hungry. And then we have <laughs> this shirt. Hey. Oh, he's yeah. clever. That really pissed me off. This I, is, I thought you were actually going to. No, it's I a know. cool fucking shirt. It is. This is tomorrow's t shirt Tuesday. That was on. That's that was awesome. On, I want that. That was on Carrie's desk. And I was like, oh, pizza. It was around lunchtime. I was really, really hungry. And I was like, you want Sweet. a slice? Pizza. No, I don't because <laughs> it's a shirt. And I went up and I opened it up and I was like, there's no pizza in there. It's just a shirt. But it's a cool shirt. I'll wear it. I had just woken up uh, and when Patrick showed me that and I was so confused for like a second. <laughs> I was like... It's just like Gavin what? was right now. Yeah, that was legit Are confusion. you really having pizza? I can't believe you're eating on the podcast. Yeah. That's going to be in the store tomorrow. There's it no does not come with a box. Tank tops too. It does not come with a pizza Oh yeah, box. we have Achievement Hunter tank tops. Yeah, boy and girl. Oh, they're for boys? They're, yeah. Do You didn't see Jeremy modeling it? No, I was disappointed that I didn't get to model that, but it's achievement. <laughs> that's not my. That's not my. You thing. don't get to model all of the tank tops, Blaine. If we have another rooster teeth one, come to me. Have <laughs> you been in an achievement hunter video yet? No. Uh, yeah, no, well, I guess if you consider lives of action news. Yeah. Ah, uh, good point. Yeah. When's the next horse tournament? I don't know. We don't really do that anymore because Jack's lazy. Oh yeah. So I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. I've been in a lot of. Uh, <laughs> Random walking in on them while they're recording, they'd be like, "Oh, it's Brandon." And be like, "I don't know what to do." That's the extent of my achievement hunter appearance. I still like. There's a video that's still on the internet of us introducing ourselves to each other, or Jeff like, introducing us. Really, yeah, we were like, we were more. I was doing an achievement guide with Jeff years ago. It was probably like five years ago. Mm-hmm. It was and, uh, 2009. Yeah, part of the achievement was you have to wait underwater for 10 minutes, and you pop an achievement. So we, instead of fast forwarding it, we just talked for 10 minutes. Oh. 
It was like my house. first day in the office for that trip that I was on. And Brandon came in. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, nice to meet you. But it's I all like. when you guys <laughs> used to be friends. Yeah, we used to have a bromance. You guys got that too. You oh. have like a recorded thing of you guys. Yeah, it's like it went down in history. And in the video, it's like, oh, a piece of history right there. Yeah. Look it was a Monkey that. Island video. It was that same trip, uh, Gavin and I went to eat, and uh, I was driving around, obviously, because he didn't have a car, and... Boy, things have changed. I, I was going to say, <laughs> things, I see how things have changed significantly. And we were in, like, this really janky parking lot, and as I was leaving, <laughs> the car did this weird thing where it, like, tipped forward, and I, like, drove into the ground, because there was, like, it, there was no driveway. I was just, like, oh my God. coming off of the uh, What he's trying curb. to say, he went straight over the curb and didn't drive out of the exit. Of the <laughs> he just went... <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to play it off, Great and there's, like, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a shit yeah, I was like, wow, this... <laughs> You're the best driver until someone else is in the car, yeah. and then you're just like a piece of shit. Like and we went to we went worst. to play Blazer Tag together, and while we were in there, the Halo theme tune came on. Ooh. So we were like, "This is just meant to be." Da, da, da. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> sick. oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it was just me and you. Yeah, playing some. Just blazers. you guys playing. Can you imagine tag? doing that now? Can you imagine what that would be like now? That'd just you madness. and me, just hanging out playing Laser Tag. <laughs> Let's go right now. Brandon's so crushed right now because he's like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I, was, I, thought I, was, I was planting the seed. It's just weird how things change. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the first time I met you in person? Yeah. In Austin? Mm -hmm. And how like lackluster it was? Yeah. You were, you were sitting on the couch playing video games and Griffin picked me up from the airport and I walked into the living room and I'm like, Hi. I was like this. I was like, all right. But you guys knew each other though beforehand. Right? I, I came yeah, to years. Austin to see Gavin basically because wow. he was visiting the Ramses at the time. I'm like, I should take a trip to Austin and like meet everybody yeah. and Gavin because he's there. I've known Gavin at that point, I think, for like six or seven years. And now I've known you for like ten. I mean, eleven. Eleven. Better that than like he stopped the game awkwardly, get up, and you guys have this like weird forced exchange. You know, at least it was a little bit more natural than that. But it was just like weird so, hug. like all this, <laughs> yeah. like seven years built up to this moment of like us meeting, and it's just, yeah, like, just like wow, you, gotta, really you gotta keep it casual. Just be like, how's it going? Yeah. Really it was it was weird to you. see you in real life though. Yeah, it's still kind of weird. Look, look at this. Face off. You just get, <laughs> you did that when I picked you up from the airport when you moved to Austin. You kept poking my face, going, yeah, Barbara, real life. you're oh. real. Barbara, Barbara. I was excited. And then we went to eat at Home Slice. Yeah. And then I kept poking you. Now I'm trying to think of and our like, first. That night I squeezed a lemon into Chris's eye, but it went in my eye. I remember that. Smooth. Yeah. There was one point, uh, Gav was in the UK, Barbara was in Canada a few years ago, and uh, Joel was video chatting with Barbara, <laughs> yeah. and then he was also video chatting with- Bernie was video oh, chatting Bernie was video Gavin. chatting with Gavin. So Bernie grabs his laptop with <laughs> Gavin and- like positions it in front of Joel's camera on his uh, uh on his laptop so it looks like <laughs> Gavin's there and Barbara was like so confused. It's because I was in the middle I was packing for something I forget what and I was on Skype with Joel for whatever reason and you were on Skype with Bernie and then I look up from packing and Gavin's there and it looks like you're Skyping with me and I'm just like <laughs> did did I somehow end my call with Joel and get a call from Gavin and accept it without remembering doing that <laughs> when was, did i it's pretty funny that the amount of fun you can have over video chat i used to do a thing where oh, like yeah. barbara would always it'd always be like the middle of the night for her but not for me sometimes huh. so i'd get out a flashlight and just point it at my camera and it would light her screen up <laughs> and like light her face up white and i'd be like whoop, whoop. it was so funny to me that i could shine a light on someone who's thousands of miles away i think it's still affecting them. That's yeah funny. you're my favorite thing that we used to do was you used to find really dirty words on the internet and make me read the definition to them. Yeah, like amesis. Yeah, or and felch. Felch. And you would good. just be giggling on the other side as I was just reading this description. What was you guys' first meeting, Brandon and Barbara? Uh, it was seeing her on... No, in person, though. ...video chat all the time? What was no, in, in person. person. I was think it, it was just like walking around, like RTX. Like I saw you walking around, and you saw me walking around. There was no ever, there was never an introduction. It you was one of those things that I think were anything. awkward. Like we've seen each other enough now. Yeah. Where we can actually be introduced. Yeah. Our first interaction was the interview for the internship. I'd seen you at RTX, but I didn't say anything to you. I offered you water at RTX because I was a guardian at the time. <laughs> you, I was packing backpacks, and I and I saw you, and, and you came up to me, and you're like, oh, hey, he called me by my old screen name, Blaine, Blaine Train. Train. And I was like, <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was a great start. That yeah. That was a screen name at the time. Yeah. After, after that, Barbara offered to change my name on the site because, you know, whatever. But, uh, I was like, oh, hey, and I stuck out my hand to shake it, and you had that, like, no handshaking policy. At RTX, I do the fist So bump. you're like, hey, and I was like, 
plane train, <laughs> fist bump. This is going to be a good RTX. <laughs> and uh, It's weird how you always remember meeting someone, but it doesn't always work the other way around. Like, so you don't remember me at all? Well, I don't remember you giving water to me. It's okay. I remember when you started here, I was like, all right, how's yeah. it good? I remember, yeah, I offered water you, Jeff, and your British friend. So what you're saying guy. is you tried... But, but I still remember, like, the first time I met, I don't know, like, Jeff or Gus or someone, but they probably don't remember. Well, I mean, I was just wearing... I was just a dude, you you're know. trying to make him feel better I, now? <laughs> the pain. The pain's already What I hear there. from the story is that you were PAing for other people other than me. Yeah. It was being nice. How did I, did I keep on fucking How ditching? How dare you? You ditch. I'm did scared. I take the water? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. And then thanks, Dan, thanks Dan the I, I offered some water to Dan. He took the water. So just being a good guy, you know. Going above and beyond. That's what got me this job. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read this real quick. Oh, God, there we go. <laughs> Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, portfolio, or online store. Squarespace has been around for nine years, and they are constantly improving their platform with new features, new designs, and even better support. They have beautiful designs for you to start with, and they have a ton of style options so you can create a unique website for you or your business. They recently released 20 new customizable templates, and every design automatically includes a mobile experience that matches the overall style of your website, so your content looks great on every device, every time. Squarespace has won several design awards, including FWA, Favorite Website Awards, The Webbies, Forbes, and Awards. The best web for best website design. That's what it's called. For their customer support team, and their customer support team has also won awards, most recently a gold Stevie Award for outstanding customer service. Squarespace is commerce ready to write a powerful and flexible e-commerce solution so you can get so you can set up shop and sell things quickly. One of the things I like most about Squarespace is uh, how easy it is <laughs> <laughs> how easy it is Tell us more. to just find a random template and then customize it and really make it your own. And it doesn't look like you just use a template. It really does look like you designed it from scratch. <laughs> okay. Um, Squarespace is good for everyone, whether you need a simple website solution or your developer want to get it uh, get into code. There's so much you can customize with Squarespace. It's also very cool that you can easily embed a Twitch TV player into any page on your Squarespace website so you can share a favorite gaming moment. Squarespace starts for just $8 a month and includes a free domain name if you sign up for a year. So if you haven't already, give Squarespace a try. You don't need a credit card, just start building your website. When you decide to sign up, use the offer code ROOSTERTEETH to get 10% off and to show your support for Rooster Teeth. That's squarespace.com, offer code ROOSTERTEETH. We thank Squarespace for their support. Thank you, Squarespace. Good job, Brian. That was a good, good ad read. Thank you. I'm glad that you, I was going to come in and tell you that you were going to be Gus and Rock, Paper, Scissors, you, but you, you did it. Mariel, that's, that's by far the scariest seat on the podcast, by the way. Mariel joked seat. with me before the podcast. I was like, who's going to be Gus today? And she's like, you are. And I'm like, no. I witnessed that. Like, no, please. <gasps> yeah, you I have a hold on that, that couch chair. That's. I, I mean, I, I don't awesome. mind sitting in Bernie's chair, but like having to do that stuff is frightening. Every podcast I've been in a different seat. So I next one, I need to be in that, and I'll have had it all four. <laughs> Good luck. So. See, this seat isn't scary to me. It's Bernie's seat that's scary, because it's like, this is there's, there's a reason you're on camera sometimes. You're only on that camera... If you have something like interesting to say, or you look scared to you, Brian. So it's like I, I just feel like I have to measure up, or like I'm just like waiting. Like I, I, I got, I got to deliver because there's so many expectations. Yeah. That's why I love the couch. Couch is cool. I have like Whatever. Gavin to be like backup if he starts talking. I'm still on camera even though I don't have to talk. Someone you, tweeted and said that we need to have a boxing match, Brandon. I have a boxing match. We should do it. I can fight. I've been in fights before. Oh, yeah? Do you really? Yeah. How'd they go for you? Uh, good and then not so good. Okay. Explain. How would you fight? Like, if you if you two were squared up against each other, who like what would happen? I would just tackle, what's the context? Get is on it the ground. We're actually trying to have a friendly match, or is it like a fight to the death? This isn't like the end of Rocky one, where they're just like <laughs> and then That's they the end of, frame on each other's faces. It's the end of Rocky two. This is like your Rockies, not for blood. Is it Rocky two? This the end of Rocky two. Okay. All right. Fair enough. You won this one, Brandon. You're rocky but you won't win an actual boxing match. No, but it depends. Like, is it where is it for the like to the death? Yeah. Am I trying to survive? Absolutely, it is. Oh, then I just I go straight for the knees, kick the groin, go for the jugular. Yeah. Like right, just kick, punch <laughs> just right punch in the neck. Right like in the I, I would fight as of... dirty. I would fight as as like shady as possible. Pull out the eyeballs. 
You know it does a lot of damage. I bet you that's a lot harder than you think. It is. You know it actually does a lot of what damage. It is absolutely. I've tried it. I've tried to blind <laughs> several people and I never did. Actually, it I have. What's up? What's up, if mama? you cup your hand like this and like hit someone's ear as hard as you can, that actually like stuns them pretty bad. Yeah, because yeah. it presses yeah. air down the. I kind of want to down the ear. Yeah. Have, have yeah. you ever mm-hmm. pressed your your pressure point like right here? Yeah, I hate it. It's like painful, but at the same time addicting. Addictive. That's weird. Try it. That's like that's like choking yourself while you're jerking it. <laughs> oh, it's painful, but it feels so good. <laughs> not that I've tried. <laughs> is, is I have it, actually it, not tried. So is it meant to be painful? Up. I thought it's meant to make you lightheaded. I think does it deprives you. Yeah. People die like that though. Uh, was it David Carradine? Yeah. The guy who was, what was in that show. He was in Kung Kill Fu. Bill. Oh, so dangerous. He was also in Kill Bill. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he he. I get the. I guess they caught him with his pants down. That fucking sucks. Yeah, I bet a lot of those in Singapore. A lot of those. I bet a lot of those cases go unreported because his parents will, you know. You know, a lot, a lot of people who get hanged have a boner when they die. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Just blood goes everywhere. It goes in their knobs. Oh, that makes sense. I hope I die with a big old boner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just so it's harder to find a coffin for you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But I mean, that wouldn't affect. You wouldn't get a. What's What's that? That condition that settles in rigor mortis. Rig- rig- mortis. That wouldn't apply to your your penis though, because it it's not. Bone. I think it does. Damn. Would it? Well, it's not the bone that, that be... makes you go stiff, is it? Like, your bones are always stiff. Yeah. I remember being a kid <laughs> and, like, <laughs> getting my first boner as a kid <laughs> and not knowing what it was. Like, what did you guys, like, wasn't that weird? Dude, when I got my first boner. I was like, man, my dick's huge. I just remember, like, I think a bone just misplaced and now it's, like, jutting through. No, you didn't think that. I swear to you, I thought I've that. D- I've dislodged a bone. I also, my, my parents, close. at one point, I remember <laughs> eating on the toilet because I'm weird and I was a kid. My mom told me, like, don't eat on the toilet. <laughs> and it wasn't because of the germs. Like, I, I just conjured up this idea. I was like... Maybe it's because it has something to do with, like, if I'm pooping while eating, then, like, the food will go straight through me. It's bad for my body. Like, I was just weird. I never asked for explanations. I would just conjure up these explanations. You don't worry about getting shit. crumbs in your genitals. Huh? Like, food crumbs. Like, in general? Like, isn't that, like, a... Isn't that gross? Dropping food on your knob. Oh. Nah. It's, it's well, like, weird. what kind of stuff are you eating on the bog? It's, it's probably, like, a... Probably, like, a sandwich or a hamburger. Something easy. <laughs> you know, like, a, a hand food. It's like, a hand food. Yeah. So that be, don't get weird about it. It's not that big of a deal. We all do it. No. Yeah, we're the weird ones. I think like, the one place I haven't eaten food is on the toilet. <laughs> that's the one place that's like no go. I could see doing it if it was. I had a fork and a plate. But you're like, <laughs> you're doing much better. something gross. <laughs> to me, that's, that's, good. that's like, not like a tray. That's, that's, that's like, hold on, you gotta like put one hand to hold both of them, you wipe, and then you bring it back. You're like, all right, let's continue. No, half of the enjoyment of food is in the smell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like a waft of feces. Well, you're That's what I'm saying. What if you're salad. trying to eat healthy and you're like broccoli? You're just like, oh, maybe if I... <coughs> <laughs> you yeah. hide the healthy. Oh, you're wow. Good, buddy. So hey, how's Barbara, we were talking about boners and you're going to say something. I was going to say when I had my first boner, <sighs> that was a strange experience. Hey, how's that, how's that DDR machine in your house doing? <laughs> it's cool. It's a heavy piece my house of shit. Looks, my living room looks more and more like Tom Hanks' house and big. Big. So uh, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Why? Why what? What, you have a DDR machine? Yeah, you, you didn't know yeah. DDR? Meg, Ma- Meg loves DDR. Yeah. She's got DDR machine. In my head, I thought it was going to be a bit smaller, like the size of an arcade cabinet. How but like- it is like a fridge with a mat. You helped move it in, right? Yeah, the story was you were you were in my house at one point. Yeah, <laughs> at one point I was in your man cave, which apparently is a sacred place that no not, even, not the even cat the, is allowed. Not there. even the pets go in there. Yeah. And she told me that, and I was like, just kind of looked around. And by man know. cave, it's just my desk you and computer took, with a, it's a nice with a couch. giant shit on the floor, and just rubbed your. I was thinking on. about doing something like in your house, I'm just because like dog. yeah, but I didn't. But yeah, you have a nice house. But yeah, uh, that that thing was fucking heavy, and apparently the guy that unloaded it just came in. Have we told the story already? In the no, he just. He uh, delivered it and just dumped it on the front drive. Yeah, like didn't he? And she was and, <laughs> and then, she was like, "Are you and left?" Hey. And she was like, "What? Well, you got to put it in the house." He's like, "I don't do that." And just left. She's like, "Well, what do I do? How do I get in the house?" He's like, "He looked at it. He's like, you should probably get some help." And then he yeah. just left. <laughs> and apparently, and then uh, and then she was like, "What if it rains?" And he, and he was like, I'd, "I'd cover it if I were you." Yeah, <laughs> he's just the most yeah, unhelpful he was a guy. Total prick. Is it? What like was he a UPS guy? Like what? I don't know some like courier service, but. It, what did it take like four of you to get it in the it house? It took me, Patrick, and Cole to get that fucking thing in there, <laughs> and it it was massive. We walked up on it, and it was like it was like twice 
or three times the size of a refrigerator boxed up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. Well, I appreciate you helping Tony get yeah. it in the house. How, she play how much with is a DR machine? Uh, thousands of dollars. Jesus. Does she play with style? What does that mean? Because, like, some people, like, kids are good and they just, like, are mashing. But then, like, someone like Moni, well, she who goes actually, so like, dances. Moni, like, adds some, like, upper body moves into to it. it yeah. But Meg plays on the difficulty that's so fast. She It's just, like... Did she just put, like, her hands behind her and just, like... After we'd done it, the first thing she did was plugged it in. We, like, made sure that it turned on and then it did. And she's like, guess mind if I play a game? Go for it. So she played a game on, like, Expert. Yeah. And she was just like... And that thing has some pumping speakers in it. It's like, I can f- hear the bass wherever I am. So do you turn it off once it goes to bed? Yeah, we turn it off. Once you guys go to bed? Yeah. Oh, because it's always playing, like, music? Yeah, because it's like an arcade machine. So. Oh, and yeah. it's just on free play, so it just starts, yeah. like, playing songs. It was hilarious when we plugged it in. It's pretty cool, in. though. It's, like, it's really retro looking. Yeah, when we plugged it in, it was, like, it was, like, booting up. And then, like, <laughs> it went through this whole long process. And it process. has that really high-pitched, like, CRT turning on sound. It's like... Yeah. Yeah. Which I haven't heard in, I don't know, a That decade. took me back. I turned yeah. that thing on, it was like... I forgot, like, TVs used to do that really high-pitched thing whenever you turn them on, like... Yeah. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> <laughs> What's one arcade game that you would want to own in your house? Apparently Jack is, like, eight. Time, I was helping yeah. him and time Katie crisis. move. Then you give a bunch to the element. Time. time Crisis. I love Time, time is Crisis. Time Crisis is a good game. What is the highest pitch sound you can make? <laughs> 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 That's it, right there. <laughs> I think your pitches got lower. <laughs> <laughs> my, I can't, I can't. <laughs> my favorite is your build-up face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right there. Sorry, Clayton. Sorry, Clayton. You're welcome, podcast listeners. But can you not like do like a, a girl sort of through the roof? Let's, let's hear yours. I can't do it. I lost the ability. No, let's hear it. <laughs> Just a, you lost the ability like when you turned. <laughs> like, I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't fucking. <laughs> I like how you guys are just doing it away Because from we're the trying to get away from the microphone because people are like listening. I can do the bird noise quite high, but that's a different sound. That's. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That's it. No, I can't even watch those. If I sing Bee Gees. You sound like the Bee Gees, yeah. I was about to say. Every time Blaine tries to do a voice, I'm it ends so up sorry. sounding like. Pongo. Mickey Mouse. Pongo, who sounds like Mickey Mouse. And yeah. then you're trying to do Barbara's voice. For the recap, and who was like, "Oh, I'm Barbara." Oh. <laughs> so, like, the the end, the stinger is like, oh. I go up and we we get Patrick, and he's like, "Why are you dressed like that?" And I'm dressed as Barbara still. I legitimately walked around the office for like forty five minutes dressed as Barbara, <laughs> dress and makeup and everything. I don't know if you know this, but I was talking to JJ mm-hmm. on Saturday night, like at Holly and Jordan's house. Yeah, and he said that while you guys were filming that, he like kept finding himself accidentally looking she like under the desk at your crotch and i kept noticing it too and i didn't say anything until he he thank god he called it out but like he's i would just, just like, look over and he would just be like <laughs> <laughs> but then i was like have you done this to me <laughs> what the fuck well, okay but t- i mean well, how to often his, do you wear a dress in his, like, defense, show like, <laughs> in his defense i was just like this i was like mean, I, I, this isn't even allowing me Blaine i was is like not a lady i was Although like you no. kind of do sit like a dude only when you're wearing jeans though and sometimes in skirts. Yeah. If they're like bigger skirts. Yeah. If you got some fluffage. Yeah. Sounds it's like, like uh, you and JJ have an awkward moment. <laughs> <laughs> on our way. <laughs> but yeah. Blaine, I thought that was funny. Uh, but then I thought about at one point in that day, you were putting lipstick on yourself, which to me would be the weirdest part. Like, I can get it in drag. That's. That, that I think is you know yeah hard, but it's oh, good God. lord it's putting oh, the lipstick that on God that's did a you do that thing woman look at your boobs on and then you pluck you or you I did I've watched like girlfriends do it so I know how it goes what is that what is it pump what is that sound would you call that pucker plucking? that's pucker <laughs> pucker uh yeah so is Ashley over there no oh yes yeah, she is sorry Jenkins I think it was either her or Megs I used their lipstick. <laughs> It was just in the oh. it was in the makeup room, and I was like, "Oh, I hope no, they don't mind." Hey, what's that? Special effects lipstick. Well, I used it, so sorry, Kara. We're but safe. yeah, I just like, I, I the 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 objective was to make it look like I was just like this like. At one point, where you like, terrible. oh, what are you trying to say? Well, I mean, I'm, it's parody. I'm not gonna actually try to make myself look pretty. You actually sent me a picture of it before the recap, and you're like, would you be offended if I did this? Yeah, because I did feel kind of bad about it, and I was like, this this might be offensive, and I did it, and I, I sent the text, <laughs> and I and I saw the little, and I was like, I was with Cole and JJ, I was like, guys, she's typing, she's typing, and you're like, 
I'm choking. It's like, please do it or something like that. <laughs> and just, you, you were just like, work it. And I was like, oh, thank God. So, yeah, you being, know, I don't get offended. I'm being informed that not only is that not Ashley's lipstick, but that lipstick has been used on men's bodies. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, go on. All over. Go on. On their dicks. Where, where specifically, Kara? Cool. She cannot name how many places. Well... Oh, whatever. It's it's done. It's not as bad as you accidentally putting your mouth on Brandon's belly button, which we shouldn't talk about. That what was that so from? gross. Oh. When that happened, we won't say what happened. Wait, we were what? doing a screen test for things, and uh, at one point, I was like, "What's that thing called when you go on someone's belly in raspberry?" Yeah, and I, well, I didn't remember the name, so I just did it because I thought that would be better just to demonstrate. So I pulled Brandon's shirt up, and I just went in and went. What are you doing with your hand or something? It's the same noise. Look at his yeah. shirt up and I just went It and, was and, really disgusting. And it like felt I really didn't, uncomfortable. I didn't realize like he it's just like it looks like a butthole. So it was just like this hairy <laughs> hole. And then I went in and like right before I went in, I saw something in the belly button, but I was like my brain was like, No, oh. you've already committed, gotta go. And I what? got in like deep. And uh, and I pulled up and I had something on my beard. It wasn't even being recorded. <laughs> what? What was in the belly button? What was it? It was lint. After after the fact, Brandon informed me. Yeah, I haven't showered in like three days. I've been up here. For Bro, much. it wasn't three days. Oh God! It's like you're days. on DVD crunch. Take a shower. It was like two and a half. It was days. here. I, I, we don't have a shower here yet. Go home. Take a shower. Come back. It's like an hour. But and I got half like just like a mouthful of Brandon's <laughs> belly button, and he was just like, "You know what schmegma is? Smeg. It's what I smegma. Dick cheese. Dick cheese. It was kind of like that, but like belly button version." <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we can get. Hey, the guys aren't here. We can make Gavin throw up. And Gavin, you want to throw up? <laughs> no. It'd be funny. He looks really close today, yeah. though. Oh. Ah. So, there's so we shared a moment. <laughs> there's a social disorder where schmegma. I literally couldn't watch it without gagging. I'll say that when we shot. Oh fuck! I was that, literally like, I was literally like almost throwing up. Not only so did I have a you have that to look forward great to angle internet. of that, but that was was that the one that I had the yeah the audio on. That was what were you like dogging or something? Murder. Oh, we'll Is show it you. The same one where you heard something. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, I, the audience hates us right I now. I know they're just like do Just us. trust us. They've got some good stuff coming up. But just like, keep watching. Oh so my what god! What else is coming out this week? Oh, I'm excited because. Uh, King Gavin is coming out in Minecraft. I saw your saying, Lion King Can't tweet. Wait to be king. It's funny. Yeah, we already filmed it, and I think it turned out really well. So you Tease. won. Tease. How? I didn't. I can't win. Yeah. People are excited though. I think people have been waiting for this more than anything. It's definitely the biggest gap between King episodes we've had. Who's the last one? Ryan. Yeah. Who is the one and only King, as we all know. <laughs> the true King. Wait. Mad king. Okay. I hate to admit it. I don't watch all the Achievement Hunter. Stuff. Okay. So oh my make a God. lot of videos. Don't yeah, it's, it. it's a lot of content. Um, but so uh, quality content. So the person <laughs> that wins the week before, are they the ones that go into King be King next week? Is that yeah? It well, yeah. We've only had like five King episodes, and there's always like a lot of space between them. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. The last King was, I think it was before episode 100. Then now we're on episode 121. Mm -hmm. But jeez, it's been a big gap. Congratulations. Sure. Yeah. So might be fun. Can you believe how long you guys have been doing that for? Minecraft Let's Plays. Yeah, it's been a long time. Long time. I don't have to edit anymore. King Gavin will be the last one I edit. Are you sad? And I'm free. What are you going to do now? Work on other things. Stuff and things <laughs> that we dicks. were talking about. Probably dicks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably dicks. Yeah. See, so I don't want to say I'm spoiling Gavin, it. what's your favorite type of anal? <laughs> <laughs> a clean one. Uh, what else do we have coming out this week? We have a World of Remnant episode. Oh, Ruby. that's exciting. Yep. Then chapter eight is next week. I, we also, um, it was just announced that- I it was already chapter eight. We're going to be at New York Comic Con in October, early October. It's gonna Who's be going? Me, Monty, and Carrie right now. I'd like to go to a convention. Have well, you been to one? you're not. I need, I, no, I haven't, aside from RTX. I need to, I need to like make something that so I can go to a convention. You should go to a PAX. Yeah? Yeah. PAX that's is a, pretty awesome. That's a good like convention to I'll go to. get right on that. PAX stuff. Guess. Wait, that's the thing now? Yeah? yeah, there's one in uh, January. Or January? Yeah. Do you think we're all going to be able to... When is, where is it's it? It's in San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio? Yeah. That's not bad. I can try that. And I'm sure, you know, we get passes if we want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sure Richard Heath will be there. We're not confirmed yet, but yeah, it would obviously make sense for us to go. Very cool. What's the coolest like convention? Like, what's the best convention you've gone to? RTX. Aside from the obvious, Barbara. My favorite convention has always been, other than RTX, uh, PAX East. Yeah, I like PAX East. It's my favorite. Oh, why <laughs> East more than Prime? I just like the convention center better, mm. and I like the people at PAX East better. I don't necessarily like Boston better than Seattle. I just like that convention. I don't know. They just feel very The different. layout is definitely better East. Yeah. Uh, like Everything's Prime, kind can, of like all together. There's everything's on separate floors, and it's kind of confusing. Do people cosplay there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, like Comic Con, obviously, people cosplay the most out of any convention. Uh-huh. Pax, it's like, you know, hey, still significant. What do we do for Halloween? We talked about it. Like, there's a big we want to do a group costume. Yeah, I'm oh. thinking of bringing the dick back for the third year in a row. Very nice. Which would make Classic. your cost for each year what? Twenty bucks. Well, it gets lower. I think it was eighty dollars. You have to repurchase it. Oh, you rent it. No, I no, bought, it bought it for it. eighty bucks. I'm oh. just trying to like the more years I use it. Maybe it was fifty. I don't think it was 80. That'd be mental. I think I want to do a superhero. Dicks are still relevant. Yeah, and I'm thinking of like putting veins on it and stuff this year. And oh. Do you maybe help? Maybe on it. Yeah, I, I do. I could help with that. Yeah. I'm going to do a superhero. I was looking at... Catch America? Mm, Ant-Man. No, ca- there's not any good you Captain America. I was actually legitimately, and I feel kind of ashamed. My, my search history and Amazon history is screwed. I was looking at like tights. Like I, I want to see if there's like an actual... Because they have the fake muscle, and I'm not like... You don't need the fake I'm not muscle. bragging, but I don't want the fake muscle because it looks stupid. You don't need it, is what you're saying. I just, no, yeah. I, whatever. You have the definition. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I wanted to do like Batman or Green Lantern or something. Green Lantern would be cool. Yeah, not, not many people do Green Lantern. Make I sure you buy a cup a... whenever you do that stuff. Why? I didn't know that. I got, I went, a few years ago, I went as the old Adam West Batman and then I put no on shit. the suit and I was like, well, <laughs> why a cup? I was looking for that. I was looking like, at that costume. It's pretty cool. Can you send me a picture of that? You want a cup because yeah. there's a seam that goes right here uh-huh. that you will have to choose one side or the other, basically. So if left. you have a cup. It's always left. I love that you were telling a story about your knob showing and he is like, you sent me a picture of that? <laughs> 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 so can I, can I, I do want to see how you looked that? in the, the Adam. Have I seen that? We were talking. I was a little tubby. Or <laughs> a little tubby. Was this before Brandon 2.0? Yeah. This is when I started Brandon working one. at Rooster Teeth, yeah. and I stopped moving. Like, cause I mean, when you go to, we were at UT, you walk all the time. So yeah. I was at Rooster Teeth, I just sat all day and I did this, and then we were downtown, so I just ate. And then, like over the course of a year, I gained like twenty pounds. Jesus. When's Brandon three point coming out? <clears throat> I I keep. Uh, When's pre order? I After keep DVDs. progressing. Three point is abs, so I don't think I'm ever gonna get. But that. we were we were talking <laughs> Friday night about like if we were superheroes, which ones would we be? We're talking about that. We're talking about Game of Thrones and X Men. Yeah. And now I kind of want to do Emma Frost. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. The internet would explode. Exactly. Okay. Well, then, if we're going X-Men, then I'm... Who's Gavin? Cyclops? Quicksilver. Because <laughs> of the slime I think. Yeah. Okay. Right. Quicksilver. Brandon is... <clears throat> Who is he? Professor X. Yeah, we'll shave your head. <laughs> All right. I'm either Cyclops or... Who's the other one that we had? Oh, I could see you as Cyclops. I could do cycle. I think you should be Jean Grey. Who did John kept? He kept saying you were someone, and you were like, "No, no." I don't know. C- c- fucking Chris kept saying that I was a uh, saber tooth. I was like, "No, <laughs> no <laughs> yeah. I want to be a hero." No. Yeah, I can totally see that. No, no, <laughs> I don't want to be saber tooth. He's so shitty. He's got a cool like costume. The Wolverine saber tooth or the X Men one saber tooth? I guess the Wolverine saber tooth. What are you? That doing? guy's like different a pro wrestler. Like, oh, you're talking about the movie? He's like a yeah. beast. Yeah, yeah. That that guy was a wrestler, shitty actor. And then the other guy, Ouch. Lee Schreiber, was yeah. a good actor, Jeez. but like he didn't have a recognizable saber tooth look. So mm. I guess it'd be like the comic book saber tooth. But no, nah, I want to be like Cyclops if I'm going to be. I really wanted one. to do Rogue, and you guys were like, "No, no, you're not Rogue." And Why like, Rogue? No, cool. but we agreed that Kara was going to be Rogue. She's oh, got yeah. like the Southernish kind of accent, and I know what you could be. You could be rest. Beast. Ah, oh, there you go. Thanks, Gavin. If we're doing like Marvel or DC, it'd be Green Lantern or Aquaman, and then. I guess just we have to get going. We only have a month left, month and a half. Fuck yeah! So it take a long time to buy a costume. Well, well, if you want to like make any of it or oh. like actual actually find pieces. <clears> yeah, for Han Solo took forever to make. I didn't take enough pictures of that. That's took probably me mean. For two months to make that Zelda costume that I made, uh, like four years ago. Yeah, but you got a lot of you. You wanted a while, right? Yeah, you got, you I got did your, it for two uh, Halloweens, and then it fell apart because I made it out of like tape and staples. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to sew, so. <laughs> I would be Vav, but. Bernie smoked a cigar next to me the last time I wore it, and it smells all funny. <laughs> Put it in the laundry. <laughs> you not wash it? It's all nah. It's all like <gasps> drawn on and stuff. Yeah, if you but I mean, just put it in like a thing of water and uh, 
Maybe I'll set off a Febreze not bomb. Soap. I should get Anna. <clears throat> Anna's like great not at dishwashers. Costumes. She made the extra laundry detergent. Myself. She did. Yeah. She, she made, made the Ruby stuff. She made Captain Dynamic. Yeah. I wonder how much she would charge. I don't know. She Speaking of great. bulges, Ed Robertson. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, oh, we had a poster. He Dynamic. filled the suit well. Yeah, he filled oh, the suit well. Oh, we right, had a poster, right. uh, a, a Captain Dynamic poster, and even in the Dynamic poster, there's like Halloween. that definition, the giant bulge. He was a, he was a cool. Who guy. was his stand-in for some? Jeff. Else? I was gonna ask. Did Jeff stuff his pants, or is that all? I think he did have to. Yeah. I think that was a story. He had to yeah. stuff his pants to look like Ken Robertson. So was it like someone's like one shot, and then he was like over this their shoulder? It was a shot of Joel. Yeah. And uh, you can see Captain Dynamics bulge just right behind his head, just stood up because yeah. Joel was sat down and he was stood up. So that's it was on that tight shot. That's pretty. We filmed cool. all the stuff with Ed's face, and then he left because he was only there for, I think, a couple of days, two days. Yeah. Yeah. They're, oh, that's a. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. A, that's done by a community member. <laughs> that Rogue does it justice spider, too. I remember. Yes. Yeah. That we actually sold that for a while. Maybe Did we? Still do. I think so. I like had the, it hanging up in our office. I like the lightning bolt in the background matches the logo. Who was the bad guy? Shannon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the Shannon. great face. That was funny. That was a good. That was a good short. I just like every time he did something, he's like. <laughs> 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 he's the shittiest superhero. I was a. Uh, I didn't have many lines in that. I was just in the background for like yeah. the second two episodes. You were in that? But I was, yeah, I was in the, in the, like in every shot oh. with Joel and him. I was in the background. Trying not to laugh <laughs> at all of those ad libs was impossible. That guy is funny. Yeah. And I'd, I'd have to like crane my head behind the mono whenever I laughed. I'd be like this. My <laughs> favorite short that you're in is the one, I, I don't know, it's like there's like sticky notes or something. And Mixed you're like, messages. Mixed messages. Yeah. And you, you like tell something and you're like, you're like surprised. I don't, I don't know. This is really funny. I still like Secret Door the best. The the funny thing oh, about filming uh, mixed one. messages, you can't tell from the video really, but I had to look up at Jeff. Uh huh. But he is quite tall. He's like six feet tall. So I was looking too high. Like my eye line looked kind of ridiculous. So they drew some eyes on some post-it notes and put them on his chest. So whenever I'm delivering a line looking at Jeff, I'm actually looking at two <laughs> eyes on chest. post-it notes. <laughs> and I messed up so many times. I'd, be, I'd look up and be like... The thing, the thing is, <laughs> I, me- I messed up so many takes because I would look straight into his real eyes. Even with the vibrant like <laughs> yeah. notes, you're like, mm-hmm. I think they got more elaborate as the shoot went on. Like, look here, <laughs> fucking idiot. Did they actually draw like eyeballs on the sticky notes? Yeah. Why didn't they just put like a one sticky note that you had to look at? Why do they have to? Because maybe he was like, get <laughs> ruining it. I don't know. It didn't work. Well, have you ever <laughs> noticed like in movies sometimes people like look like one eye to the other, the other, the other, and then there's like one person that just like, how? Where do you look when you make eye contact with somebody? Uh, in their eyes, in their eyes. Like you're looking at me. Your eyes are I'm still. I'm looking like kind of like in the middle of your nose. That's yeah. I look at people's mouths. What if I looked? What if I did this? Gavin, yeah, how would you weird. feel about that? Or just yeah, like, I'd feel like you're looking at the top of my head. Yeah, so that's annoying. Isn't it? Sometimes look people like look. I'm like, what's up, Blaine? Yeah, it's it's pretty good eye contact. What are you doing? I'm looking at your mouth. I'm not looking at your eyes. At Why all. are you doing that? I have big lips. That's you know, well, because uh, Americans weird. talk funny, and uh, it's easier if I can lip read. Okay. You don't. You look at my eyes, though. I've never seen you look at my mouth. Can you mouth legitimately lip read? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can you legitimately read lips? Well, I mean, no. I mean, it helps when someone's talking. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. If someone's facing sense. away from me and they're talking American, I can. I find it hard to understand sometimes. Well, now you're making me self-conscious. So <laughs> I know. Now I'm like, hey, Gavin. Or what if? What if I do this, <laughs> Gavin? Yeah. It's okay. There we go. <laughs> Slightly harder. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Should we wrap up this bitch and go home? Should wrap Is that up. a podcast? I think we got we got Did 12 we seconds okay? until 9. 12 seconds? According to my handy dandy g You know how we watch. started the podcast? We ran off. We ran on. So we're going to run off? Bye. Okay, bye. I, I guess I'll... <laughs>